This is a review of the digestive chart that is found in one of our Atom Labs. And on here, you can see some digestive structures. You can see several blood vessels. You can see a couple of um, lymphatic vessels and lymphatic structures and some respiratory structures too. So I'm going to identify the structures that have arrows pointed to them. I'm just enlarging this a little bit so you can see better. And this will be used for the midterm lab practical. Here on in the head, you can see the salivary glands. This is the sublingual gland underneath the tongue. This arrow is pointing to the submandibular gland, and this one is pointing to the parotid gland. This is the parotid duct. This green, smaller vessel here is the thoracic duct, which carries lymph. And this arrow is pointing to the trachea. This arrow is pointing to the thoracic aorta. This is the esophagus, which travels um, all the way down to the stomach. And the stomach is this organ here. This organ to the left of the stomach is the spleen. This organ over here making up um, or filling the majority of the upper right quadrant of the abdominal cavity is the liver. This is the right lobe of the liver and this is the left lobe of the liver. And they are separated by this um, structure here. This is called the falciform ligament. Underneath the right lobe of the liver, which has been lifted, is the gallbladder, shown in green. And there are several ducts that carry bile, which are associated with the liver and the gallbladder. This arrow is pointing to the common hepatic duct, right here. This arrow is pointing to the cystic duct. And those two ducts unite to form the bile duct right here. Okay, then right in here, we have a bunch of blood vessels. This arrow is pointing to the celiac trunk. This arrow is pointing to a really small artery, this is the gastric artery. This arrow is pointing to the splenic artery, which serves the spleen. And this arrow is pointing to the hepatic artery, which serves the liver. Down here, this arrow is pointing to the superior mesenteric artery. And this, large purplish looking blood vessel is the hepatic portal vein. So this arrow is pointing to the hepatic portal vein. And then down here at the bottom are several structures that are part of the digestive system. There are two membranes that you can see. This fatty membrane is called the greater omentum. This is called the mesentery. This membrane binds the small intestine together and also attaches it to the posterior abdominal wall. This, all of this, is the small intestine. And this is part of the large intestine called the cecum. And then down here is the terminal portion of the digestive tract. This is the rectum and the opening at the bottom is called the anus.